it is the perfect recipe for a hot summer day that doesn't require any more heat. Here to share how to whip up a delicious cucumber grape gazpacho, we welcome back kids cooking instructor Julie Mary. Great to see you. You too. What a perfect recipe for this week. I, I tell you, it really is. We're all buckling down for the scorcher that's on the way. So tell me a bit about the basics of what we're going to do here. So uh, gazpacho is just cold soup. Most people know of it, the tomato based sure. one. This is a little more light and fun. I would say maybe more kid friendly since that is usually what I focus on. Grapes, who doesn't love green, yeah. cold grapes. Um, cucumbers and then some fresh herbs and some tangy stuff too to kind of be the perfect little bite. Both of my kids will eat both grapes and cucumbers, so we're on the right track. Perfect. I'm gonna keep, <laughs> I kept my grapes really cold in here. Look at that. So we didn't have to, eat, you know, you can chill this soup after you make it, but if you keep everything in the fridge, it's gonna be cold right out of the blender. Perfect. That's a great place to start. So I'm gonna chop, so I, this, we're just gonna make half recipe. The recipe on okay. the website is, is a little bit bigger, but um, it calls for just like a small pickling cucumber. I just got an English cucumber because I like them because I don't have to peel them. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just going to chop it up a little bit um, while you measure some other ingredients. I'm we ready. We do have some toasted almonds is the first thing. Okay. And you can leave those out if there's a nut problem. So it's not going to make or break the recipe. Sure. So if you want to give us two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Tablespoon right there. It should be pretty close and to what that is. And this is all just going to go right in the blender, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything Amazing. goes right in the blender. So you just mix it all up. Okay. I'm just gonna One do what and would be a two. equivalent and of a, little a small extra cucumber. Zhuzh. Oh yeah. So what is the difference between the different kinds of cucumbers that you see in the grocery store? Well, the the one that everybody knows of, but that you see a lot of people peel them, that skin's a little uh -huh. bitter okay. um, and thick. The English cucumber, or otherwise known as seedless cucumber, um, it, the skin is really thin and I don't usually peel it. Perfect. One thing people don't think of when they unwrap the plastic is still give it a wash, because some people don't. I didn't used to think about that until oh, recently. So. Always wash always everything. Wash. Okay. okay, so then we're going to do a little tang. So we've got a couple little tangy things, rice vinegar being yeah. one. Okay. I've got a cute little pour measure there. i got to look at my recipe for this one. We're going to do two tablespoons. Two tablespoons, tablespoons on, the left side. on the left side. I can do that. Is that right? Ish? Yep. A little more sure. dash? Okay, there we go. Two tablespoons right in there. Okay. And then we're also going to do... Um, some Greek yogurt or just plain yogurt, whatever okay. you got. And I have a fourth a cup right there with a little baby spatula, so you can. Oh, I this see. This is a collapsible cup, so you just open Very it up. Very cool. Look at this. And then just fill her up, and that goes right You've in. Got all the While cool you're doing tools. That. I've got a little green onion from my garden today. I love so I'm that. I'm just gonna chop a little bit. Probably leave a little bit for garnish on top too. Okay. I love green onion, and I know there's some dill over there too that yes. I'm excited about. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna add about half of this. A little green onion. Right. Now this is not in your recipe. This is a little, I snuck this in because I had some chocolate mint. Ooh. That just looked gorgeous. It is so pretty, it looks and perfect. And I love mint with cucumber. Why not? So I just thought we could throw in a few sprigs as long as you are a fan. I am in. Okay. Um, so we got our yogurt. So then uh, in the orange bowl is some cream cheese. Perfect. It's gonna help it, you know, have a little more substance. Yeah, use that spatula Here we go. probably. There we go. And okay. then olive oil. So we'll uh -huh. do a little olive oil in there. And that one, you could just use that same little measuring cup. That's okay. also going to be two tablespoons. All right. Sorry, one tablespoon. I'm, I'm one. having the recipe, so I have to do it Here on we the go. fly. Oh, sure. One tablespoon You're of olive oil. You're doing math on live television. <laughs> that is Wish me luck. a true challenge. <laughs> okay. All right, a little olive oil. Beautiful. And then this little guy, another tangy thing, would be buttermilk. Oh. So now I'm going to give this to you. We're going to do okay. just, we can pour it in there or whatever is easier. You can scoop it with the spoon How or How much pour are it you here. thinking? Let's do about a tablespoon and a half. Okay. I'm going to pour it because I think that this is less likely for me to make a gigantic mess. Perfect. Okay. There we go. All Beautiful. right. So we've got, I just threw in a little mint. I threw in a little um, green onion, AKA scallion. And then we have some fresh dill. Yum. So. I usually just pull off the little um, okay. fronds um, and don't use a whole lot of the stem. Okay. Um, I'll keep a little bit for garnish if we want. Yummy, yum. Just some fun garnish things. How many of these little as much dollops as you want. are we doing? I just do a little I bit. I like a lot of dough. Yeah, there you we like go. a lot There we go. There we go. Okay. And of course, as always, salt and pepper to taste. Always, always. So let's do, let's say, a nice healthy pinch in there. It's always more than you think, right? It is. Maybe one more. One more. Okay. And then just a little dash of pepper. 
Perfect. There's a little uh, shaker right there. I feel like I'm Perfect. really making this. You are. <laughs> you literally are making it on live TV. With guidance of all the measurements <laughs> and what to do next. Okay, now the sweetener. So we've got a lot of tang in there. Yeah. So we want to add some sweetener. Okay. So I can help you with this because there's a lot of them in here. Okay. We don't need this entire bag. Sure. Um, Half of a recipe would be about a pound. Okay. Um, and you really just throw them in there. Uh, yeah. And feel free to pop on your mouth. I, I tested them at the store and they're very sweet. And so I mean, they're what you want. ice cold. That's going to yes. be so, so refreshing. Yes. I'm going to add just a little, let's do a little more. Okay. Just a little more green grapes. Beautiful. We like sweetness. And of course, as you blend it all up, it's all but going to become not perfectly smooth, but just enough okay. that you have a little bit of chew to it, but it is, you can be able to drink it. And is a green grape more ideal for this recipe? Yeah, just to kind of stick with the green theme. Okay. So, all right, Beautiful. we are ready to blend. There's a lot of good stuff in there. So we're shifting over here okay. to the, the Ninja and get this guy all locked and loaded. You want to do it? Oh, gosh. Kids okay, you're really putting me to work. Okay. Are the we power, power or are button. we pulse? Power. Power. And then let's do medium. Okay. <laughs> Might take a second for it all to come Yeah, out. I see what's happening. So I can hit the power button. Okay, let's see. Do we get it all kind Does of... Does it need one more zhuzh or is can, it good? You can pulse it a few times if okay. you... Okay. Make sure. Beautiful. What do you think? I think that looks it pretty looks good. It looks beautiful. So, Okay, I'm walking away from the power tool. <laughs> You're back in charge now. Uh, the great thing about this is it has a little pour spout. Oh, spell. awesome. So, oh... My goodness, that looks amazing oh, and I smells amazing. Oh, I can smell it immediately. Now, feel free to garnish with any of those oh, little green onions. Sure. Sorry, this is kind of Put a little dill. Get all this in here. A little green onion on top. Look at this. Can we see how beautiful and the color saved, is on that? I like to save the top of the mint. Just oh, perfect. Because it's cute as I destroy it Yummy. as I grab it. Anyway, you get the idea. Do we dive in as a Should sip we? or do you scoop? I like to sip. I, let's but do you it. You can do either. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. So refreshing. So much flavor. Mm-hmm. And you sweet. can add more sweet. You mm -hmm. can add less grapes. Make it however it's you want. It's nice because you get the sweet and the tangy and mm -hmm. all the herbs and just a hint of spice. Mm -hmm. You can, S and you still have a little chew to it. For sure. So, which I like. Thank you so much. You're it was welcome. great to see you. That's what fun. a perfect recipe. We will have this recipe and more about Julie on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.